guys, it's FB Man 17 here. I'm going to do a review on my Yellowwood fingerboard. I got this that was on the stock at the 28th of April 2010. Um, it came in a bubble mailer, just like any other fingerboard. Shipping was like 8 days from Portugal. It was shipped express, which is pretty good. Uh, came in a bag with some information on the back about the company. Uh, with the deck, I received a piece of sim tape, two small deck size yellow stickers, which is full, and three of these yellow wood logo stickers. That's what I call them. <laughs> and one of these big stickers, which is really cool. I've never seen this sticker before, and um, I was pretty happy to get that. Um, so, in this review I'll be talking about performance, craftsmanship, shape, and how you can get your very own yellow wood. So here it is. Okay, so we'll start off with performance. Performance on the yellow wood is great. The amount of pop, flick, and control is great. The, the, amount, um, the pop is really good. Compared to a close-up, which has nearly no pop at all, Close up sounds very soggy, the yellow was very crisp. This is because they use a metal mold, which probably lays a few t um, pounds of 100 pounds of pressure onto the deck, therefore making it stay in shape. And they use top quality glue, so it will not sag over time. So, control is great. Uh, I've been able to do tricks that I've never been able to do before on my yellow wood. Um, it's a wide, 29 millimeters wide, by 101 millimeters long. Um, so the control on this deck is really good, especially if you use the Tech Deck old school wide trucks um, from the Collector series. I suggest you use them with a wide deck. And the amount of flick is really good. Uh, I've, I can do kick flips now with almost no effort at all and be able to land them very clean which is pretty cool so all the performance and stuff is great if you're looking for a deck that's really good performance you should think of Yellowwood okay so if you didn't know Yellowwood is famous for their craftsmanship of their decks um, the graphics are printed on and they look amazing this is the bonsai graphic um, there's lacquer on the bottom, on the top, and also on the side, which is per which is really cool, nice and shiny. Um, the pliers can be seen very easily on the deck, and a typical yellow wood ply combination would go yellow top, and then black, yellow, black, yellow, and then a printed graphic, which looks amazing. They used to hand draw the graphics, but I don't think they do it anymore. But it still looks just as good. Um, the holes are drilled perfect. Um, and they were very spot, like, centered and everything. Um, and the countersinks were deep enough to fit my um, screws in. Uh, but just uh, so one thing I'd like to point out on the Yellowwood 2010, there is no kingpin holes. I was aware of that before I bought my Yellowwood, just to make you guys aware of it. Um, but I have trucks with kingpins, and it, they don't really stick out that much. So there's really not a worry there. Um, if you still want a Yellowwood, you can still get one. Uh, just because just they don't have kingpin holes doesn't mean you can't use them. So, that's pretty much all I have to say about craftsmanship. Great craftsmanship on the Yellowwood decks, and they, al they always have had good craftsmanship. Okay, so if you'd like to own your own Yellowwood, there's a few, way there's a few ways you can get one. Uh, you can buy from a private seller on YouTube, or on eBay, or something like that. Just be careful when you're buying some from something off YouTube, because it might be a, there might be a scammer, or the person might not be... Legit, and it 
might be a fake or something like that. Or on eBay, make sure you check the description wisely and all that stuff because people write Yellowwood in the description so the board gets noticed. And you'll find out that they aren't actually a Yellowwood. Um, or you can buy from the Yellowwood store. Um, the Yellowwood store website is on the screen now. Uh, check when the Yellowwood stock will be in. You can check the blog section of the site, or you can um, check on FFI, which is a fingerboard forum. Sometimes he posts it there, but he will al he will always post it in the blog section of the site. So you can do that, or you can just check the site every day. That's kind of what I did, and I got one. So yeah, um, that's pretty much all I have to say about the Yellowwood. Great decks. Uh, if you want to post the video response of your Yellowwood, I'd like to have a look at that uh, because they're very great decks and there's a wide variety of graphics and molds they've made. And I'm interested to see them. So, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. See ya.